now if you're into mini importation from china or you intend to go into mini importation then you need to watch this video to the very end because i will be sharing with you six necessary things you need to be doing as a mini importer now for you to maximize profit guys it is no longer news exchange rate is on the high side dollars as well as rmb they are all on the high side imagine rmb going for around 132 naira per yuan it is a lot and dollar is around 950 naira it is a lot so this is actually taking a huge toll on many importers it is actually making some people frustrated they don't know how to continue with their mini importation business just ensure you watch this video because i'll be sharing with you six necessary things you need to do that will help you make profits even in this season even in this time we're in so before i go into it my name is Oni Onra. if you're new here you're welcome if you are a returning subscriber welcome to the channel please go ahead and subscribe and be a part of this family here in this channel i create content around starting and growing an online business i go in there to its main importation business affiliate marketing drop shipping business and different ways of earning sustainable income from the online space so if videos like this interest you subscribe and be a part of the family with that being said guys let's dive straight into the video of today just as i said at the beginning i will be sharing with you six tips six necessary things you need to do now that will help you maximize profit as a mini importer that imports different items from china the first is this ensure you're importing meaningful products from china guys this is not the time for you to go on to 1688 or alibaba depending on the app you're using this is not the time for you to go on to any of those sites and just import anything you see there or anything you feel you like and you expect to bring it down here sell and make money no this is the time of what intentional importation if there's any word like that this is the time for you to be intentional about the products you import why are you importing these products is it because you think it is fine you think it is fancy and you just go ahead and import it this is not the time for you to be throwing your money or gambling with your money you need to be intentional with whatever product you want to import you need to ensure that this is a product that will actually sell you need to ensure it is a product that will sell so you need to import meaningful products and how can you know a product that will sell something i tell you guys is this let's say you go into 1688 and you see some varieties of product and you feel this product will sell one way for you to test is this go onto your whatsapp status especially those of you that have lots of whatsapp contacts go onto your whatsapp status and post that product or those products as the case may be when you post those products check to see how many people actually click to view those products you can post up to three five different products depending on how many you want check to see how many people actually view the first view the second view the third i will tell you if people are interested in such products it will give you an idea in fact some that are interested in those products will view not only view they will chat you up to know if you have that product on ground or if you intend importing and selling that product because they are already interested now that is the first method you can use another method which you can use is to go onto facebook groups or pages that are related to that product or that are related to that niche post that product there and see the engagement if you can if you can run a test ad on that product what do i mean by a test ad you go ahead create an advert on facebook a paid ad on facebook or instagram okay run that ad for like two days and see what the engagement is and see how many people actually like how many people actually ask about the product if you have it on ground if you don't have the money to run up to two days ad guys you can run one day ad when that one day is off you go ahead and turn off the ad right just for you to be aware of how this product will go if you go ahead and import it you need to be intentional about the type of product you import not just the regular shoes the regular bags the regular hair there are some products that are adding value apart from adding value there are some products that makes life easy for people 
products under the health niche they are products that will sell because people are seeing this as solutions to their problems security products will also sell these are like tips i'm giving you some products around household items kitchen items kitchen items i mean some unique kitchen items will actually sell so you can actually try this out my point here is ensure you're importing what meaningful products now the second is this go for quality over quantity yes you're importing meaningful products you've already run your test ad and people are so interested in this product and you can't wait to go ahead and import and sell in fact some of you are even doing pre-order people have actually paid you to go ahead and import this product and then you go on to 16 it because you are so so i don't want to say because you're greedy but because you want to make 10 times profit that's what they told you guys about mini importation right because you want to make 10 times profit you go ahead and search for the seller with the lowest possible price they tell you people go to eight. use picture search search and get the seller with the cheapest you go ahead and follow all those steps you buy from the cheapest seller and at the end of the day you bring it down here and the product is substandard it is nothing to write home about what are you going to do especially for those of you that are into pre-order you keep refunding money you'll keep refunding money until you refund the last dime you have because people will not agree to accept those products so please in this present time go for quality over quantity very very important anything at all you're importing guys check reviews there are some products you go you get good picture reviews check those reviews check the return rate check the ratings talk to the suppliers if possible get real videos get real pictures forget those pictures you're seeing on the home page of 1688 they can be so so deceiving if you've not done many importation before from somebody that has been in this business for five years or more yes i'm actually telling you for experience forget those pictures you're seeing there they can be so so deceiving okay go ahead and do your check on that particular product or that particular seller ensure that this seller is actually guaranteeing you what quality forget about the price and as much as you're able to make profits no matter how small go ahead and buy quality you will get more clients when you go ahead and sell quality products it is very important you don't want to waste your money next thing is this guy which is my point number three before you go ahead and import always sit down to calculate your landing cost you know what dollar is on the high side you don't want to buy goods that is weighing over 25 kg 30 kg 50 kg and you still decide to ship it through air you're going to be paying ridiculous amounts for shipping so it is better for you to know and be aware of what to expect before you actually decide on the shipping route or the shipping method to use right let me also give you guys a tip especially those of you that watch to this point thank you for watching to this point now if you go ahead and buy different items from china and you know that that product is weighing over 20 kg anything weighing over 20 kg please opt for c shipping because presently with the exchange rate 20 kg you may be feeling 20 kg is small but trust me if you go ahead and ship 20 kg through air You'll be paying over 170,000 naira for shipping. I'm telling you this, guys. Presently, I calculated it for a client. Just 20 kg of goods, you decide to use air to ship it. You'll be paying over 170,000 naira. Talk more of those of you that are buying up to 30 kg, that are buying up to 50, even 100 kg. Please go for sea shipping. That's the best method. That's the best option. So that you'll be able to see something at the end of the day after selling. You don't want to finish selling and you don't have your 5,000 naira to, to cool off. If you want to make profit, you need to calculate your landing cost and decide on the shipping method to use. Because shipping is actually a lot this time around. So calculate and know the best shipping method to use. Now, if you know you're not doing pre-order, like you want to import your goods, when it comes down here, you can start selling. My advice to use this, start marketing it. Don't wait until it lands before you start marketing, right? Start marketing it immediately after you're done placing the order. You know, yes, you've concluded this goods. 
in the next two months if you're using steam shipping it will be here if you're using air in, in the next 12 days you have it here so you just go ahead and start marketing it don't wait until it lands or until you pick up start marketing it start posting it on your whatsapp status start posting it on your instagram pages if you have a business page or your facebook start posting start telling people about the product you bought okay the product you're expecting start marketing it start selling it even before it lands so that those that are interested will start informing you you're already sure that okay when this product arrives this person is interested mr b is interested mrs a you get what i'm saying so that when it arrives you can easily sell off immediately and import again that is one thing with business again turnover you know it i say it a lot here right so start selling before the goods land I think I've not made a video on how to download videos from 1688. I'm going to make that video and post it on here so that you guys can see how you can get these videos from 1688 and use it for your marketing um, process, right? So start posting these videos and pictures so that people will be aware of this product. When they start asking you about this product, you tell them, yes, it will be arriving very soon. Some will even go ahead to pay up front. Some will go ahead to pay you because they are so interested in that product. They don't want to hear it is out of stock, right? They'll go ahead and pay you for that product. This is you selling your product even before it arrives. You're already sure that in the next few weeks when it arrives, you're sold out. Now, this next point of mine or this tip is actually for those of you that are starting small. If you know you're starting mini importation at this present time and you want to start small, my advice to you all is this. If you want to buy some heavy items, say you want to buy shoes, you want to buy blenders, you want to buy all those heavy products and you know using air shipping will not be the best option. And at the same time, the weight of your goods or the dimension of your goods is not up to the minimum that the shipping company is accepting for sea shipping. What you can do is this, if you have a friend that is equally important, you can pair with that friend, you guys can come together use say shipping to ship it down when it comes you divide and know how to share the shipping costs this will help those of you that are just starting and don't have uh, that much capital to invest this will help you to bring down your goods with a fair price and sell and see profit right try to look for people that are into this business with you people you can pair with of course this should be people you know to an extent right people you can actually share shipping costs with you pair with them import and share the shipping cost this will make the whole thing easier for you all the next point is this guys learn mini importation business if you've not learned it you just want to hop into it you can make mistakes here and there which will actually cost you a lot learn this business learn mini importation i have people that usually book me for a one-on-one -on -one consulting section just for mini importation business you just want to talk to me learn from what i have to tell them if that's what you prefer it is fine if you know other people that can teach you go and learn you can even learn here on youtube there are videos that will teach you about this business personally i have training sections on mini importation business if you're interested you can let me know the link to my whatsapp is down in the description section of this video not in the comment section and anybody you see in the comments with my picture leaving whatsapp number for you guys here and they just know that they are scammers my own contacts not even my whatsapp but the link to my whatsapp so you cannot see my number once you click on that link it will be in the description section to access the description section you just click on the title of this video it will take you down to the description section so you see the link to my whatsapp there if you're interested guys but one thing i need to tell you at this point is that you need to learn you need to learn there are some things we don't come onto youtube to actually say of course i cannot come just one video and i'm explaining everything about mini importation it is not possible right even if i make 10 different videos i cannot explain i cannot exhaust what is in china mini importation so if you need like a one-on-one -on -one training you can contact me on whatsapp okay we shall do your training i teach you how to go about it there are different training methods you can decide to have a video call you can decide to train on whatsapp depending on the one you want just let me know and i tell you the fee now after learning guys there is nothing like when you where can i get you one at bank rates go to your bank today walk into any bank say then you want to get you one and see the answer they will give you 
you cannot get you under easy at bank rate these days so whatever you have at your disposal make use of it personally if you come to me for training i will give you some exchanges i trust okay that can actually sell you one to you at reasonable prices you can use them okay you can use them and then make your purchase the point is you're buying quality products you're checking the shipping method you're calculating your estimated landing cost you're actually importing product that will sell these are what you need to consider not focusing on how can i get you one at bank rate that is not a problem at this point in time that's not a problem so please watch this video again put all that i have actually explained in practice and see yourself making more money from your main importation business if you've gotten value smash that like button subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and others okay and i'll see you all again in the next one bye for now